We don't have any municipal power we can plug into here, so if we don't have the power from the solar panels, we don't have power. Here in SMARS, we generate our power with solar panels. So whenever there's a good day, a sunny day, then we have plenty of power so we can recharge our batteries. Our batteries, our whole power system right here. These three batteries can power the HAB off a day's worth of solar charge for a day and a half. The amount of power that we're able to produce is definitely um, very in line with what would be available for actual Mars. When the weather is rather cloudy, then we really have to restrict our power usage. For example, we cannot use the treadmill. We might have to cut down on our cooking. Nothing else in the habitat pulls as much as the oven or the, um, the uh, stoves, so... Um, Not even the heater? Not even the heater. What happens if it gets below 45 in here? We start worrying about the microbe colonies in the toilets. We freeze those and then the toilets stop working and things yeah, get right. bad around here. I get up and I come and hang out by the heater. And it's the warm spot. Sometimes a blanket, sometimes not. Depends. The good thing about Mars is you won't have clouds like we have on, on, on Earth. Um, however, you can have dust storms that can obscure your sky. The engineers um, send more solar panels to make up for that fact. Hey, Kamal is riding the pedicycle. The motor turns and puts power directly into the battery. It will charge up any small device, like your iPad. Any human can adapt to whatever they have. If you had even less power, I'm pretty sure we would still be fine. In the end, going to Mars is all about adapting yourself. We cannot colonize Mars. Is everything that we embrace or eat is sent from Earth. What we need to do is living how to produce everything we need on Mars. 